I was recently asked how my intro was made. Rather than trying to respond with all text, I figured a tutorial of sorts would be far more helpful. To start, I began in Photoshop, taking this image and blacking out the other lights. I saved each instance of the picture, making three photos, each of them with progressively more lights on. After this, I put them into Vegas. To start, the first image is cut up into five clips, fading in on some and hard cuts on the other. This is to simulate the light flickering to life. Then the second image is merged in. Its video track is above the first image, so it will cover it up. Then the third image quickly overlays the second, completing the background cycle. Now the Tenbon name is added in. Looking at the pan crop window, you'll see I took a negative custom shaped mask, applied a negative mask that feathers inside and outside of the line, then keyframing from the beginning until just under 3 seconds into the next clip. I move the mask position down and left. Now, I'm a sucker for glowing text, so the text glows, but not without reason. You'll see in a second how it plays with the street light. It's barely visible, but the text also moves ever so slightly to the right. This is done by dragging the frame interface about half a square to the right, then moving it an equal distance to the left, setting the keyframe for panning at around 4 seconds. After this, I put in a white screen, then made two ovals with the masking tool, got them to a size that I could hide inside of the closest street lamp. The white screen has a glow effect added to it, specifically Boros Continuum Film Glow, a third-party plugin. I then animated the glow intensity, which is just making a keyframe timeline, putting the scroller at a timestamp I deemed good, and cranked up the intensity slider. Now playing just the ovals and the text, you can see that the text visibility and the pseudo streetlight intensity grow at nearly the same rate, giving the illusion that the streetlight is revealing the name. Lastly, to add some extra movement to this otherwise static image, I took a video overlay of smoke, lowered its opacity so you can see through the black background, but still see the mist. I then created yet another negative mask with both side feathering. This makes it look like the smoke is not visible once it's outside the light's range. The feathering helps it so it doesn't look like it gets abruptly cut off, as I will demonstrate here. I'm going to try to do a making of my audiobook intro, but since I don't have the raw file, it's going to be more guesswork than precise explanations, as I barely remember what all I did to make it.